Warning: Nitrogen triiodide is an extremely sensitive explosive. Ammonia gas is irritating and toxic, so this experiment should be carried out in a fume hole or in a well-ventilated area. Good eye, mate. Today we are gonna go through the chemical process of the synthesis of nitrogen triiodide. Nitrogen triiodide is an extremely sensitive explosive. It will detonate by almost any disturbance, and it is only explosive known that will explode under alpha radiation. Due to its high sensitivity, there isn't any practical use of it in real life. To start things off, we are gonna need two chemicals. Here I'm using 17% aqueous ammonia solution, and the elemental form of iodine. First, I weigh out about 1.5 grams of iodine. Then it is crushed into powder to get the greatest surface area as possible. Then to measure out about 6 ml of ammonia solution. I use the syringes because the smell of ammonia is really unpleasant. The exposure to air should be minimized. Then to get a beaker and dump in the chemical that we prepared early on. Then to get a glass rod and to mix the chemicals with strong stirring for about 5 minutes. What is happening here is iodine reacts with ammonia to form amidogen iodine, ammonia ions, and iodine ions. This is a two-way reaction, which means that the reaction can either go forwards or backwards. What drives this reaction forwards is the presence of exceed iodine. Amidogen iodine further reacts with iodine and ammonia to produce more ammonia ions and iodine ions, and our desirable product nitrogen triiodine. To separate all products, I simply let it run through a gravitational filtration process. Then I use a spatula to divide this batch into several parts. It's very important to evenly spread the nitrogen triiodine on a flat surface like a piece of paper. Due to its extreme sensitivity, it may detonate even by its own weight. There were some products left on this sheet, and uh, I thought it would be fun to play with. It exploded and caused a sympathetic detonation. And here is the original audio. Nitrogen triiodine is actually quite stable when it is wet. However, it becomes extremely sensitive when the water is removed. I'm gonna play the original audio, so a little warning to those headphone users. And here is a video that I filmed in slow mode. I'm sorry in advance about the low quality. Thanks for watching. See you next time.